Hey guys and welcome to Q&A Quickly where I try to break down the Q&As as fast as I possibly can every single week consisting of the most important and controversial questions that were asked on the Q&A streams. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing was somebody asked about the Dragon Warhammer rarity. Uh, Mark Kieran stated that it was pretty damn rare but obviously they're not going to get uh, you know exact numbers until about a month into release because they don't like affecting the market too much. The next thing is somebody asked why Lizard Man boss shamans are in multi and why you're allowed to use cannons there the first thing that they stated was they can't really win when it comes to cannon use and the community because for example you have wyvern the the wyvern slayer cave and you're not allowed to use cannons there and everyone was complaining why can't we use cannons here um, and then they allow cannons at the shamans and everyone's complaining why are there allowed cannons here so they kind of just do it at their discretion and um, if there's any like major issues they'll fix it but they just kind of do it at their discretion. Uh, the shamans, uh, Kirin related the shamans to the battlefield dwarves in RS3 that dropped the dragon pickaxe so essentially it's not really a boss it's just an NPC that you kill and I'm assuming he made that relationship as well because the dragon warhammer has a drop rate similar to the dragon pickaxe um, that's speculation though so and then they're also in multi because of their attack styles so the way that it was designed to attack a player makes it so that it kind of has to be in multi because if it's not then their attack styles like most of their attack styles aren't going to work properly ZRC nerf was uh, kind of brought up and, and the team said themselves that they didn't like how AFK it was. They didn't necessarily change it because everyone's been talking about like these elitist nerds and stuff. Um, the team themselves didn't like how AFK it was and so they uh, they changed it and the XP, rate, the XP rates are going to be adjusted based on long term data. They can't just release a nerf and then you know give it an hour and then change the XP based on that. They have to give it like a few days so that people can like lots of people can test it and get the max xp rates that they can and then once they see those xp rates if it needs to be adjusted it will be um, based on what was basically pulled in the dev blog the abstain repool was brought up and the mod simply said that it'll be in the next poll teleport tabs for Zaya were brought up and it can be added easily through necromancy somebody had an idea of requiring a dark essence block and the runes to make it and to make the actual tab you would just use the spell from necromancy on the dark essence block you wouldn't use a lectern because there's limited space in the lectern as it is someone asked if there would be new best in slot items uh, with the batch 2 of Zaya coming in this summer um, they basically asked how the community felt about it, but they gave some ideas. Uh, so one thing they said was that tier 80 weapons would probably be um, next, like tier, you know, level 80 would probably be next, uh, the next step in, in going forward. But it would be a lot different than Chaotix. Um, Chaotix basically had like a massive jump in DPS and I mean general stats um, compared to their previous counterparts when they came out. So if if the team was to release tier 80, it would be nothing like Chaotix. It would be it would be a decent boost to justify having it, but it's not going to be anything like Chaotix at all. Uh, and then the armor, they also said instead of focusing on new offensive gear, they could just focus on defensive gear. So, for example, like a two-handed uh, shield, um, stuff like that, or just, you know, maybe like a, a another armor set that has better defense than Bandos, but it's not really good for offense. So just some ideas there thrown around. Um, pretty much just leave your feedback and they'll look into it. Loot share, um, simply saying that it'll come in February. Dragon Square Shield to be Dragon Fire Resistant, so this was a idea on Reddit. Um, and they said they will be pulling it in February, if I'm not mistaken. New skilling pets, so John C. wants to have a badge too. Um, and he said it might come in February, depending on like the time crunch in it. Um, what skills would you guys want, and what pets should those skills have? Just let them know, and they will look into that as well. The 2006 interface was once again brought up. Um, as always, it's coming sometime this year, hopefully, but there's no exact release dates. A lot of people do want the 2006 interface, but at the same time, a lot of people want other things as well. So, Skeletal Hellhound Pet was a really cool idea that they brought up. Um, basically, Vedion's Skeletal Hellhounds would drop a, a bone at a very, a very, very rare rate, and this bone could be added to the help up, and it would give the Cerberus help up a metamorphosis off it option so you could just switch between the hell pup or the skeletal hellhound um, pretty cool idea I thought it was really interesting and then also 
somebody brought up a hell rat boss for more spice now at first like some people thought it was a, some of the stat the team thought it was like kind of a joke but at the same time they're like what's well, a pretty good idea because if there's like a bigger rat a hell rat and you could only attack it with maybe like a, a wily cat or just a, a cat in general like you couldn't use a kitchen a kitten then they thought it would be a pretty good idea because it's it would make spices more accessible and at the same time it would kind of like make sense that if there's a bigger hell rat it would drop more spice so that's been Q&A quickly for this week and I will see you guys vid uh, next week with another Q&A quickly video and if you guys have any suggestions feel free to leave them below.